Welcome everybody back to Mega Man X, where I'm going on to the final Maverick, Sting Chameleon. And then, yeah, after this I gotta do some backtracking to get, uh, Heart Tank, Sub Tank, Hadouken, and then I'll, and off to the Sigma stages. Nice forest level with these, uh, little shrub metars. Shrub mets shooting out little worms. Uh, yes. Okay. So you go down here, and this water will only be here if you've defeated Launch Octopus. Kind of tricks you into thinking it's a bottomless pit when actually it's not, but. Dang it! This part is, and there's the hard tank. I'm trying to do a dash jump, because that's what you have to do to get that. To get that. Oh, wow, my voice just... Oh, my vocal cords did not vibrate there on that... On that one bit. Don't know what happened there. So, yeah. Uh... I tried to do a dash jump, but it just did not work. Let me see if... There we go. Give myself a little extra platform. There we go. Oh, crap! Ooh. There we go. Yeah, you... That... That jump's probably impossible without the water, because you jump higher in the water. And then, I gotta get up there. There we go. Go up top. And... You gotta fight yourself. Another, uh... Another boss. And, uh... A lot of people might theorize that uh, this might be Otto from the classic series because it, its color scheme and design looks similar to him, at least. Because like he's got the, uh, I guess the kind of red jewel-looking things on his on his torso, same as Otto, and his, his color scheme is the same as Otto's. And like he's the only time you ever see this enemy specifically is in this part protecting. Uh, a piece of Mega Man X's armor. So some people might theorize either this is this boss, this uh, robot either is Auto or at the very least is very heavily inspired by him to protect the uh, protect the Doctor Light capsule that's here. Dang it! There we go. I, I just quit. I just stopped bothering using a charge shot. All right, the final armor piece. Yep. Basically, all this uh, all this armor piece does is, uh, is t it reduces damage by half. I take half the amount of damage. It's it's simple. It's effective, and it's awesome. And now we have the full first armor set. Alrighty. trying to focus up because there's still an entire stage I got to do.
But thing, but I'll be honest, not really all that hard to. Well, I say it's not that hard, but you you still have to beat uh, Launch Octopus before you before you can get the uh, the heart tank, and then you gotta fight a boss to get uh, the the chest piece, the armor piece. Ooh, one of them. Um, I'm at two lives. Yeah, dang it. I'm gonna have to do it. Looks like I'm gonna have to do things uh, the long way. Because, um, if I remember right, for getting the Hadoken, if I have enough lives, I could literally just, uh, fall to the death pit and then get to that spot over and over and over again. As long as I have enough li as long as I don't need to, as long as I don't game over. But, uh, if I don't, then I gotta basically play through the entirety of... I gotta play through the entire stage, like, over again, over and over and over again. Also, I didn't really... I didn't really use the ride armor that much in... Chill Penguin stage, because I immediately went to where the heart tank was without having the weapon, so... Yeah! And to be fair, you don't really use the ride armor in that stage that much. Anyways, got the ride armor is so much fun to use in, in the series. Well, crap. Alright. Uh, there it is. Sting Chameleon. It. Well, usually I can just. There we go. There we go. That's what I want to do. Yeah, put him in the infinite loop. Come on. There we go. One thing that I actually that's actually kind of clever is that if the boomerang actually comes back to you, you actually get the bit of weapon, you get the weapon energy back from when you shoot it. That's actually really clever. But if it actually does hit, then um, it hits something, then you don't get the energy back. Makes sense. Chameleon Sting! Save, yes! Because now comes the point. Oh, right, we got a little cutscene here. We got, we got chatted out with, uh, with Zero. Finally found Sigma's fortress. So yeah, before we go on to the Sigma stage, I gotta do a little bit of backtracking, starting with... Jill Penguin. Because there is a heart tank in here, because there's the heart tank in here that I gotta get. And then I gotta get the sub-tank in the Spark Mandrel stage, and then finally the Hadoken. Yeah, uh, dang old Hadoken, man. Okay, I'm getting hit a lot. I really should just try and take these guys out. I 
Honestly, I could have just uh, paused the recording and cut back to where the location is, but I'm probably going to do that for the Hadouken, considering what I have to do to get it. And, thankf and I'll be honest, I'm thankful that in X2 getting the Shoryuken is, uh, is a lot easier. I'll take that, thank you very much. And here we go, back into the green riot armor. There we go. And with Flame Mammoth's weapon, I destroy this. And there's the heart tank. Achievement. And I already. I can hear the achievement. Uh, actually, already pretty close to the end of the stage, so. Though Spark Mandrills is gonna be a bit gonna take Like I said, I don't know if I can just straight up exit. I kinda don't wanna find I can at least find out with Spark Mandrill. Cause yeah, I'm already at the end of the stage here. If uh if just grabbing it and leaving counts. I can understand if it will. I don't think that's that is not the case with uh the Hadoken though. I don't believe. So, now back to Spark Mandrel stage. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I'll take that. Alright, there is the sub tank. And. Nope. There we go. You gotta jump high enough to be able to get it to curve downwards instead of curve upwards into that enemy there. So. Hopefully, I should be able to just. escape. And then it'll still count. I'll double check. I'll make sure to check to see if I still have that sub tank. And if I don't, and if I have to go re grab it, then. Okay, I don't. Thank goodness. So, um. Crap, I don't have enough lives for this. So, what I gotta do is I gotta get to that point like five times, and I gotta make sure I'm at full health with full armor. So I kind of have to rerun through this stage five times. Because I could also just jump off the ledge three times and just run, rerun through the stage twice. I, I can do that as well, but... Eh. I, I, there's going to be a cut here, and, and I'll come back to... And it'll cut back to when I get to the Hadoken. So I can have that, so... Sorry for this cut, everybody. Alrighty! After running through the stage uh, of uh, Armored Armadillo... Let me try this again. After running through Armored Armadillo stage enough times, and making sure you have max health when you grab the little uh, energy... Uh, the little health energy thing on the ridge up here, you get this capsule, and you get Dr. Light dressed up as Ryu from Street Fighter. I give you a special present. Now enter the capsule, please. Yep! Now I have access to the Hadoken. This is a one-shot kill as long as my health is full. 
I can pull this off as long as my health is maxed out, and it's a one-shot kill. And you actually have to do in the input, so you have to do the, like, quarter circle, you have to do quarter circle, and then fire. He actually says Hadouken, which is not, which is neat. I remember when I first played through this on the Legacy Collection that after I got this and before I went onto the Sigma stage, I saved and then I did exit out of the game. And when I loaded back in and realized I didn't have the Hadoken again, I had to run through Armored Armadillo stage again uh, another five times to uh, to get the Hadoken. So learn my lesson there because I wanted to take a break. Because I wanted to just stop for playing before going on to the Sigma stages. Big mistake. So that's going to do it for this part of Mega Man X. Thank you all for coming by to watch this. I really appreciate it. You all know the deal with the outro. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hope you all will return for the next video. Till then, everybody, have a good day.